Hello everyone, it's part two of how to value an option using a binomial tree. Just now we compare the difference between the payoff of an option versus a regular investment in equity or fixed income. The next step would be given this asymmetry payoff, how do we value the, the option? There are three general approach to options valuation. Uh, the first is called black shows formula. Here it's a pure numerical approach. A formula is used uh, and it takes into account the probability of the stock price movements. And from there, the value of the option is determined uh, based on a pure numerical approach. Uh, the good thing about the black shows approach is that it's pretty fast. It's one formula. We plug the numbers in, we plug the inputs in, and we got the option value. Uh, the not so good part is that for the black shows formula, because of the way it's structured, it tells you the value of the option at maturity for European option. So it does it cannot account for exercise. Uh, in between, uh, bef before the maturity date. Of course, there are patches we can do uh, to adjust for dividends received or early exercise, but uh, it's not a complete uh, a solution to uh, valuing uh, various types of options. The second approach is the binomial trinomial tree model. This is the, the focus of this topic here. Here, there are several steps to do. First, we construct a tree, which I reproduced here. We look at the stock price movement in the first in the first place. So we do not care about the option value first. We look at what is the stock price uh, over time, and we construct a binomial tree, meaning two legs, either up or down for the stock price, or we do a trinomial tree. So here. The stock price can move in three ways, up, down, or the same level. And given the stock price movement here, then we look at what is the value of the option at the end, and we discount it back to today, and that's our option value. The third approach is called Monte Carlo. Here, this is using a pure brute power of a computer. Here, we simulate a large number of price paths for the stock. So here, let's say we do a five trial simulation for a Monte Carlo. This is the stock price. It moved up first, second trial moved down, third trial moved up and down and straight. The fourth trial could be flat. The fifth trial can be up, down, and then up again. So these are all the, the five trials we looked at for the underlying stock price. Then we decide, given the stock price this way, what is our option value given the movements. And we find the value of the five movements possibility, take the average, and that is our stock price for, to, uh, that's the option price for today.